pissed me off when we booed our starting quarterback to start the game. That pissed me off. And he went out there and played his butt off for this university and this team. They need to get behind him. We need to get behind the young man. You want to boo me? Fine. You don't boo the starting quarterback. Brady Cook is a semifinalist for the National Quarterback of the Year, the Davy O'Brien Award. And why not? 28 combined touchdowns and over 3,400 total yards on a 10 and 2 team. Tonight, we do something different. The story through the lens of his parents. Brady's family is our spotlight story. What you're looking at here is pure, unadulterated parental joy. Fourth down. Gotta have it. Yes. And he gets it. Oh my God. It's awesome. Luther Burton a third. Yes, and not only that, but they're in range to win it. Brady Cook had the passion early on. He wanted to be a quarterback at Mizzou. And Amy and Jim Cook remember that day distinctly when Barry Odom made the offer five years ago. He's at this big table in the office and we just start getting the feeling that they're talking about giving him an offer. Um, they said, you know, we'd like for you to come play football for us. And, great, you know, everybody's faces were just all kind of looking at each other. And then uh, it was kind of funny. Jim's like, so, so let me just clarify. Yeah, is this this really is an official <laughs> offer. And they're like, here. yeah, yeah, we want you to come play here. And has Brady ever played this season? Majestic throws like this one at the Dome. Gutsy runs like this one at Faro Field. And then, of course, the best moment and perhaps the best moment of the season, a fourth and 17 to keep the drive alive against Florida. I knew that he could do it. I knew it could happen and I don't know. So it did happen. In the moment it did, what did you guys do together? Oh my gosh, I mean, my brother like picked me up and my cousins were behind me and my little nephews and, and we're just high-fiving and just, I mean, just going crazy because we knew then we're, we're close enough. We got the big first down, we're in range, I mean, just, just such relief and just joy. It was pure hell last year at Kansas State. Playing with an undisclosed torn labrum, Cook was picked off twice. And in months to follow, social media could be brutal at times. The lowest point was after the K-State game when he After that game, like you said, uh, he was injured, uh, trying his hardest to get through that game and uh, to get some of the feedback. And then it's what took me off of social media uh, after that game. You want to say something back, you want to defend him. Um, but I, I think what's helped me is that Brady handles it so well. He's so, I mean, um, he's just, he's just so tough-minded and he just keeps his head down, he keeps working. And keeps winning. The Cooks, who own Sugar Fire and Emo's Pizza restaurants, won't miss a Mizzou game. They hug Brady after games. Heck, they even hug Brady during games after a touchdown. Brady Cook is their boy. That's my line right after a game. You know, regardless of where it goes, we're just proud that you went out there. I, I mentioned to him, man, I can't imagine being on the field at Georgia with, you know, 95,000 fans and you're just doing this what you do. I'm most proud of him for the person he is. I mean, he's just amazing. And so we let him know, you know, you're never letting us down. 